A federal appeals court on Tuesday unanimously rejected Donald Trump's claim he's immune from criminal charges that he plotted to overturn his 2020 election defeat. The ruling is a rebuke to the former president, who is once again seeking the White House as he fends off numerous criminal cases. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with conspiring to defraud the United States, conspiring to disenfranchise voters, and conspiring and attempting to obstruct an official proceeding. The election subversion case landed before the three-judge appeals panel after Trump was criminally charged by special counsel Jack Smith with a number of illegal schemes to try and stay in power after losing at the polls. Trump denies wrongdoing and claims he's immune from prosecution for acts taken while president. A president has to have immunity. And the other thing is I did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. In oral arguments last month, Trump's attorneys asserted that presidents could only be criminally prosecuted if they were first impeached and convicted by lawmakers in Congress. Judges seemed skeptical of that broad claim of immunity. One judge asked Trump's attorney if that immunity extended to murdering a president's political rivals. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. And so, so your answer is, is no. Is. An attorney for the U.S. Department of Justice argued granting Trump immunity would set a dangerous precedent. The president has a unique constitutional role but he is not above the law. The indictment brought by the special counsel accuses Trump of using false claims of voter fraud to pressure state lawmakers, Justice Department officials, and then Vice President Mike Pence to thwart the certification of the election results. Multiple capital injury! Multiple capital injury! Those lies fueled Trump supporters' violent assault on the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, in an effort to stop the certification of the election. In Tuesday's decision, the judges wrote they cannot accept the claim that a president has, quote, unbounded authority to commit crimes, nor that the executive has carte blanche to violate the rights of individual citizens to vote and have their votes count. His immunity argument was previously rejected by a trial judge in December, prompting Trump to appeal. Trump is almost certain to appeal Tuesday's decision as well, all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Even if his claims are ultimately rejected, he may achieve his aim of delaying trial until after the November election. If Trump wins the election, he could seek to pardon himself or direct the Justice Department to shut down the case.